In this video, we're going to be looking at SQL injection. So there's three main types. There's error-based, where when you get the error, you get error in SQL, select star from users where username equals and password equals. Uh, there's blind-based, which we'll discuss in another video. And what we're going to look at today is union-based. So I'm open up our application. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using DVWA, which is an application which is specifically written with vulnerabilities in it. So we just quickly log into that. I right, just want to go to the security part to make sure that it's set to low so that it's actually vulnerable. And then we're going to click on the, the SQL injection page. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to put a, just a single quote in the text box and click submit just to make sure that it is actually injectable. Right, and we get a SQL syntax error. There's no, no actual query in there, but it's telling us it's a MySQL server. So what we want to do now is we want to go back up to the, to the bar um, and just after the, the single quote we put in, put a space. Then we want to put in order space by space and then we need to put a number in that matches the number of columns in the query um, so we're going to start off by putting in number five and then a space dash dash space now that dash dash space is just a mysql just to say anything after this part you can ignore it's just a remark so we're going to start off using number five um, depending on what, what happens we may do either increase or decrease so we just click, click enter on that Okay, we get an unknown column five. So what that means is that there's less than five columns in the actual query. So we're going to have to lower that number down to four to see how we get get on. Okay, same error. So drop it down to three. Same error. So let's try number two. Okay, so now we're getting the web page back again. So we know that there are two columns uh, in the query. So we, uh, I've installed an add-on, a uh, hack bar, which you can install. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to load the URL, which just loads the, the current URL into the, to the hack bar. And then we want to highlight the order by two statement. And then we go up and select SQL, union select statement. This number of columns, which is two, and then we click OK. And then we click Execute on that. And then we'll see at the bottom there we get uh, first name number one, surname number two, and those correlate to the one, comma, two that are up in the, the title bar. So we can change, we can update either one of those, number one or number two. Uh, we're going to do number two because it's because it's down at the bottom it makes it easier to read so we just highlight number two and then go back to sql we know it's my sql and then basic info column uh, what's that what that's going to do is it's going to give us number one still next to first name but but next to surname it's going to give us the user the database and the version so we just execute that again and there we see we got so we got root at localhost, which is the user that the database is running under. We've got the database name DVWA, and we've got the version which is Ubuntu 5. Okay, so now I've got a text file that allows us to, to get information for, as far as tables and columns and data is. So we just quickly open that up. So the first one will show us all tables. So that's just group concat table name. So I just highlight that, just copy that to the clipboard. And they want to paste it on top of the concat underscore WS statement. So that's going to give us the tables in the database, which is DVWA. So we'll execute on that. There we go, we've got two, two tables coming back, uh, guestbook and users. Now we want to find out the columns that are in one or both of those tables. I suspect that users looks the most useful one. So we'll go back to our text file. This one's going to show show columns. So 
this is group content show, show all columns where the table name equals users. You'd obviously change that table name to, to match whatever table you're interested in, but we're using users in this scenario. So I want to highlight the group concat again up to and just before the two dashes we put in and then paste that information in. So what they're saying is give us the columns from the uh, table users. So execute on that. And there we go, we've got uh, user ID, first name, last name, user, password and avatar. So we now want to extract information from various columns. And this time we're just going to use user and password. So we go back to our text file. <clears throat> right, the last entry is group concat, and then we've got to enter our columns in. We're going to use user and password, and we're selecting from the users table. So we just highlight that. Copy that to the clipboard again, and go back to our web page. And again, we want to paste it over the top of that group concat statement. So just select all the data from the user and password column in the users table. So execute on that. Okay, and that's the information. We've got one, two, three, four, five rows with the username and the password for each. Now those passwords are all 32 characters long, which tells me that's almost definitely going to be an MD5 hash. So we could just run this against uh, John the Ripper or, or one of those type of tools. But in this case, I'm going to run it against an online cracking website. So we just copy this to the clipboard again. I'm going to crackstation.net. But there, there, are, there are lots and lots of these type of websites. So we're going to paste the information in. We're going to remove the usernames because all we want there really is just the passwords. Then we're going to enter in the, the number 4504 and then click crack hashes. It shouldn't take too long. Right, there we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five passwords have been cracked. So we've now got access to to log into all those users. That is all there is really to, to union based injection. Um, hopefully that's been useful to you. If it has, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much.